Instead of heading off to work, more and more women are staying home to raise their children. And a new study shows this is a reversal of what was a decades-long decline. CBS 2's Alice Skaner explains why. Like many babies, little Matthew here is attached to his mom. We have a very close bond. And at eight months, he's even more connected to mom Kristen since she made the choice to stop going to a job and stay home. It's a lot of fun just watching him do new things all the time. It's crazy. I don't want to miss anything. And she is not alone. A new study says the number of moms who stay home rose to 29% in 2012. The Pew Research Center says that's up from a modern era low of 23% in 1999. They say there are several factors driving the number reversal. Some are home because they can't find a job. Others, like Jackie Delator, say the rising cost of childcare was a reason for them. The price of a nanny or sitter was just not in our budget. But there are those who simply just wanted to stay home with the kids. It's really hard to do both. When it comes to how stay-at-home moms spend their time, the Pew study found that 18 hours a week were spent on child care, compared with 11 hours for working mothers, a seven-hour difference. Quite a few moms out and about in Hoboken say they're able to work from home, allowing them the best of both worlds. I didn't want to give up the opportunity to raise my children myself. I'm president of the PTO. I can take her to all her activities. I'm very involved in her day. And, and that just makes my day great. But most all mothers we spoke to admitted they're enjoying this while they can. You get to go on class trips and you get to spend beautiful days like this in the park. Because once the kids are older, they'll be back at work. In Hoboken, New Jersey, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. It's not the focus of the study, but stay-at-home fathers also represent a small but growing number of stay-at-home parents.